Welcome to another Just Traveling Through video. I'm Celeste. And I'm Terry. And today we're here to talk about how to get from Paris to Mont Saint Michel and how to do that all in one day as a day trip. Mont Saint Michel is an abbey on the coast of Normandy. Very close to the border between Brittany and Normandy. It's one of those iconic images you see when you look at different places to visit in France. In fact, Mont Saint Michel is what the fifth most visited place in, in the France. Country? Yeah, it, its total visitation is between 2.5 and 3 million people per year, and it's uh, truly a, an iconic site. So the Abbey has always been on our bucket list, but we've never had a chance to see it on, on other trips that we took to Paris. On this particular trip, we were flying into Paris and we only had a couple of days and we were heading down to Nice. So going to Mont Saint-Michel and doing it as a day trip was really important for us because we had a time schedule that we had to adhere to for the rest of the trip. Yeah, if you do have more time and want to explore that area of France, it's definitely worth visiting and not trying to do it in, in a day trip. In our particular case, we had a short amount of time, so we wanted to, to do it in one day. So when we were picking how we were going to do it, there was several options. We could drive, uh, rent a car, we could... We could fly. We could take a bus or the train, and um, the, a bus tour was going to be an all-day, like a 12-hour affair. Uh, renting a car was kind of too much hassle, and getting the car, driving out there, bringing it back and all of that was going to take too much time. So we decided to take the trains. Trains in France in general. And f they're very frequent, very fast, they, comfortable. They go everywhere. France actually has 2.7 million passengers per day on their train. And a total of over 14,500 trains each day. So we found the fastest way to get there by train was to take the TGV from the Montparnasse station in Paris to Rennes. Yeah, there's four main train stations in Paris. The Montparnasse is the southwest area of, of Paris. And when you're booking any train trip like this, you want to be sure it's via TGV and not a regular train, which aren't quite as fast. In fact, the TGV stands for Train à Grande Vitesse, which means high-speed train. In French? Once you get to Rennes, you're going to take a connection over to Pontorson. An RER train connection, somewhat slower, but it's only a 40-45 minute trip by train. And the Pontorson bus service meets every train to take visitors out to the Abbey. So that entire trip with the connection took us just under three hours. Yeah, which is terrific. We couldn't have done that by car anywhere near as fast. Three hours and we're standing at the main entrance to the Abbey is incredibly quick. So we left at 6.52, we arrived at 10.01, and then we basically had until about 2.30 or 3, about four hours to go through the Abbey in the town Yeah, we, before we had to return. We had selected the 3 p.m. or I think 3.11 p.m., I'm sorry, train from Pontresen to Wren, and that was the, uh, the time cutoff point. We had to be back there by that time. And we were back in Paris at uh, 1843. In time for dinner. One final side note, uh, the metro and the rail systems are interconnected. For example, you ride the metro to the Montparnasse metro stop, and the train station is immediately above the subway station, Gare Montparnasse. Now it's best to book your tickets for this trip online in advance. Um, you can book in advance up to, I think, two months ahead of time, mm -hmm. which in the summer, the trains can get packed, you know, with, with tourists going out there. So it's good to try to get your tickets in advance. Yeah, if you don't get them in, a, in advance, you run the risk of, of ticket availability not being there when you want to go. So there are three sites that we're aware of that you can use to, to book that are resellers of train tickets, the trainline.com, SNCF, and then Rail Europe. We got our tickets on the train line. Uh, you're able to go ahead and plug in Paris, 
to Mont Saint Michel. It'll show you the options. It'll show you which ones are quicker, which ones take longer, and you can book the thing all the way through, print out your tickets, and then have them when you go. Yeah, one side note is that you have to be aware of your train ID number that you'll find on your tickets, and that's what's going to appear on the monitor in the train stations. So get familiar with what identification you need to know. And as far as cost goes, uh, the prices vary all over the place. This was an example that I did here on the train line, a screenshot. You could see the cheapest and quickest is down there at the bottom at $27.96. Um, if you wait and there's not a lot of availability, you might end up having to do first class, and that would cost you significantly more. In our particular case, we had to take the subway, the metro, from our hotel area over to the Mount Parnasse station. Um, one thing to be aware about if you do, when you do take the subway in Paris is you got to be careful for pickpockets or people that might go and try to help you, quote unquote, get tickets on the metro. Never take help from somebody. Always go to the ticket uh, window directly. We had several people um, trying to pick your pocket because you wear cargo pants. Yeah, you've got to not let anybody stand close to you in, in uh, metro stations. Or even sit close to you on the metro. You had that one guy that was trying to stick his hand in your pocket, yeah, if, sitting if, next to you right in the... In if the you seat. don't know him, don't let him sit there. Once you arrive in Pontorson, you go outside and there's buses that will take you right over to the Abbey. The bus will take you all the way across the uh, causeway and will deposit you next to the main entrance. If you want a cool experience, you can rent one of the, uh, you can pay extra for one of the horse and, and carriage rides up to the front. So one tip on visiting the Abbey is when, when you get there, you have to buy tickets to go in at the ticket window and then there's a route that takes you to the very top of the Abbey. I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but it it's, sounds like Port Echaget. The Port Echaget entrance allows you to not have to mingle with everybody else down in the little town, but you get to walk up some steps and go right up to the top. So we went that way, helped us um, avoid the crowds, and then we came down through the town and were able to shop and things on the way out because we did have limited time, so we wanted to optimize our time right. there. Essentially, when you go in the main gate of the Abbey from the causeway, you turn left and go up a short set of stairs. There'll be a ticket seller for the Abbey tickets just to your left. And then you come out of the ticket shop, turn left again and go up the trail and you're, and you're on your way to the top of the Abbey. One more quick tip is on places to eat. So we ate, uh, we took a recommendation from a friend of ours who's from France who suggested that we eat at La Mer Pouillard. Most amazing meal. They're not inexpensive, <clears throat> but they've been there since 1851 and they make a bodacious omelet. The omelets are cooked over a wood fire and the recipe has been kept secret for over 130 years. It's worth a stop. On our website, we have uh, more detail about our visit to Mont Saint-Michel, along with places to and eat. And more ways to learn about the island. There's quite a bit of uh, links to other sites for history. Have fun.